Mr. Shaps? Stan? Yes, hello. It's, um, it's Greg Brentwood, Martin's business partner at Brentwood Shaps. Oh, that's right, yeah. Uh, I'm the, um, the bearer of bad news, I'm afraid, Mr. Shaps. Ma Martin, um, was involved in a car accident this morning. Yeah, you need to speak up. Martin was in a car accident this morning. Yeah, that's right. Somebody's told you? Yeah, but that wasn't my fault. Sorry? The, uh, the other driver slammed his brakes on without any warning whatsoever. No! Martin, your son Martin yeah, yeah, was in a car accident. Uh, here's a police report. Uh, reference... But they didn't see you? AG5240, accident. No, Martin, I'm talking about Martin. But Martin is has 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 died, Mr. Shapps. Look, I am his dad, and I was alone in the car. Would you turn the TV off? Uh, you'll have to ring back. I've got the police at the door. in the shirt. Right. If the security guy shows up, act like you're a client. What would a client be doing? Well, if I just priced up a job, they'd have a face a lot like yours, so you're fine. You need a drink? Oh, um... No, not here. These are blanks. It was nearly 200. It can't be a check, can it? No, no. Um, nip to the cash point. Okay. What will tomorrow do? Okay. Oh, sorry. It's all right to carry on? Uh, no, it's okay. We'll, um, follow me. Yeah, I just started at 8 in London, you know, taking hours to get anywhere. Never getting a proper day's work done. I've been out here on a job, I like the look of it. And the surveyor told me that the bypass was being extended. I thought, well, that's it. Head out to the suburbs, double the size of your house before every other bugger gets to hear about it. So, yeah. Except it didn't happen. You did? Well, the bypass did, but the junction didn't. Didn't get a junction, did you? The commuters needed a junction. The hordes never showed, did they? Didn't you live around here then? Well, I always live around here. Well, you voted against the junction? Yeah, right. Well, our income took a dive, the mortgage started to look like the Millennium Dome, and Linda only came on the promise of a better life. It wasn't your fault. No, and she never blamed me. Uh, it was a bad decision we both made together, except it was my idea. When, when she touched them back, could that have been her pushing them away, maybe? Maybe. Because that would make more sense, you see, if you knew them. I mean, if you knew Martin, you knew Linda. I mean, I can see him being tempted, but I can't in a million years seeing her being interested. He's the total bloody opposite of me. Uh, she didn't look happy about him doing it. 
What, at all, or just because I was there? No, no, because um, her hand went like that. Yeah. I saw his car. The taxi driver stopped the accident. The driver phoned the police. What, you stayed there? I couldn't walk away. You wouldn't, not unless you had something to hide. Would you, the police talk to you? I need to get a statement, not even name, address. What, your real name? What, I'm just a passenger in a taxi. Yeah, but you, do you, from, to, you're going from, to? Well, you know, I rang up a new cab and stood outside a pub. Police didn't ask where from or to, just name, address, and how I could be contacted. What, your real address? I mean, you could have told him anything. Oh, I'm sorry. You could have said anything. Oh, God. Wrong. Wrong. No, because... Are you listening? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Carefully? Yeah. I'd rang the taxi from my mobile. And if I'd given a false name and they try contacting me, well, they've got my number anyway. If they want to look for it, they could trace me. If I'd lied, they would know something was wrong, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah, correct. Yes, I'm sorry. Well, I'm meant to be catering, so... <clears throat> Lie, I'm gonna... Yeah, that way. Can you be certain what time Martin left? Well, when I say a quarter past two, it could have been half past. I wasn't really aware at the time. Had he had much to drink? No, I don't think so. Um, champagne toast, uh, wine with a meal, just a couple maybe, uh, dessert wine. Then we had a slug or two of brandy with a coffee. I wasn't counting, to be honest. At five at least. And that's acceptable, is it, for somebody who knows driving? Well, back of the invitation had local taxi numbers. What was the uh, party in aid of, Mr Brentwood? Wedding anniversary. I see. Big one, then. 19th. Right. Will this, uh, this be your wife? Yeah, yeah, could be. Yep. Yeah. Do you need her? Well, we might as well get it over and done with if she's up to it. All right. Yeah, I'll go and get her. Don't say we're out. The police? Yeah, just don't say we're out, and especially not about money, of all things. Does that matter? We just... If they know I shell out three grand... Three for... grand? Just... Shh, please. Greg, how? If they know I did all that and you slept somewhere else last night, I'm going to look a total fool, aren't I? Plus, do you want to tell him you were driving on about five times the legal limit? Three grand plus the necklace? The necklace says I love you. Forget what it cost. So we just... Waved Martin off together. Yeah, yeah. Two fifteen. We lit up the paddock so he could find his car. Two fifteen. But you said he left when I did. Yeah. Well, I was in bed asleep at Steph's by then. Did Did Martin stay after I'd gone? What did you talk about? Gum disease. He had a dental appointment, dreading the cost like he does. Should we get company membership of God knows gum plan, tooth plan, whatever? Nothing. We talked nothing. Couldn't sleep. 
I was freezing, so, uh, you know, see if I can get a fire going. Couldn't you just switch the heating back on? Yeah, yeah. I just thought, fire. I'm going to stick the kettle on. Want some tea? Um... Miss Burgess, I just need to ask you a couple more questions. Hi. Hi. Do you use this road regularly, sir? Uh, yeah, I live about a mile back. So you know about the accident? Uh, yeah, terrible. Yeah, it's a friend of mine. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what time would you normally be travelling in this direction? Oh, around now. Sometimes earlier. Um, sometimes a bit later, depending on the... Uh, you know, no, a, a bit earlier. And as a rule, would you normally break harder on the first bend or the second? First or second, the... Um, oh, f first or second, yeah. Um, well, I'm not sure because... No, no, second because, you know, where the camber changes, uh, it gets a bit skewered, doesn't it? Mm. Thanks for your help. Oh.